that are local that you can you know use and that are great the mainland is just you have so much things that I mean if you've never cooked in the mainland you've cooked, only cooked in Hawaii and then you go to the mainland it'll be culture shock to see all the different types of things that are available to you as opposed to here and I mean it's not a knock against Hawaii <laughs> I had the fortunate experience of being an educator as a culinary instructor and one of the, the predominant misconceptions is, is that once they graduate or obtain the degree they think they're chefs and that nothing could be further from the truth. They need to pay the dues like any other chef, so-called chef, in order to gain the experience and the acumen that you need to have to succeed in this business. You know, I don't have a favorite. Um, I, I kind of immerse myself into one project over the next. I'm still kind of uh, obsessed with dim sum. Um, I think Chinese cooking is so mysterious and so, um, you know, all these techniques that they develop is just mind-blowing. I'm still trying to unravel the mystery of what makes good dim sum. I, I really don't have personal choices on, on favorite things to cook. I just like taking whimsical approaches at um, whether it be Asian comfort food, local comfort food, or American comfort food. I just like taking that and reinterpreting it to make not make it so boring as like if you're gonna do chicken pot pie it's not gonna be a chicken pot pie so I just like reinterpreting classic comfort food dishes. for that red lehua flower here on the island of Maui is a pink lokilani the funny thing is I actually went to I graduated from University of Hawaii at Manoa with a journalism degree and uh, so my senior year um, in journalism I wrote for the Kaleo and I found out it wasn't for me. <laughs> you know, after three and a half years, I just finished it out, got my degree, and then went back to culinary school. Um, I was always working in restaurants. My grandma um, is Chinese American, so she taught me how to cook when I was like a kid. <laughs> Chef life is working crazy hours and doing it because that's what you like to do. So, I mean, in essence, it kind of ties in with how you were brought up Asian, where, you know, your parents, you know, expect you to do the best you can, but you don't get praised for it. You know, it's like you're supposed to bring home A's. You're supposed to, you know, do this and that. And that's just, I guess, it does coincide, I mean, directly or indirectly, however you want to look at it. Um, I think as an Asian um, coming up with certain values, um, we don't like to toot our horn, which is why I hate doing this video, uh, which is probably why most Asian, from Hawaii anyway, are very uh, 
it's hard for us to tune our own. So this is the end of it.